What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're actually gonna go ahead and be tearing up the interior, pulling everything out of the black 2017 Mustang GT. But we actually did work on the car last week and we went ahead and actually cut out the sway bar at the bottom and did a lot of work there and emptied out. As you guys can tell, the fenders are missing. We did all that. It wasn't enough to make a full video, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys those clips first. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump into what we're gonna be doing today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out what we did last week. Good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go ahead and be actually working on the 2017 Mustang GT. As you guys recall, we had the crankshaft smashed in with the sway bar and we're gonna go ahead and try to release it whatever way we can. If it involves cutting, we're gonna go ahead and cut it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and actually go inside and take a look. Alright guys, so as you guys saw, we went ahead and actually cut it into two pieces. We just cut it in half because it was bent and it wasn't going to be able just to pull out. And unfortunately, as you guys can go ahead and actually see, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys real quick. Now this is actually the pulley, the crankshaft pulley right here, and you guys can go ahead and see where it's actually cracked right there, as well as it's actually shoved in into the section right here, and on this side as well, as you can go ahead and see. So unfortunately, this means that we're going to go ahead and have to see once we actually take it out and actually see if it can be rebuilt or not. But if this motor is gone, we still have this motor and it's going to be a pain in the ass, but yes, we'll be able to swap it. So we did go ahead and try to actually turn the motor and it didn't turn. So unfortunately, that's that. That answers that question right now. But again, the pulley shoved in there, so we're going to go ahead and figure that out. All right, guys, so there you have it. It's a very short video. I'm sorry for that, but we're doing as best as we can. I got work tomorrow again. So I, again, I work from a week at a time. So. Stop for the do. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for the support. I love you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. So after you guys just saw what we just did last week, so what I'm gonna go ahead and actually do is pull out the entire tier out of the black car, and we're gonna go ahead and try pulling out the yellow, but we're gonna go ahead and do that at a later date. But for today, we're only taking out the black interior. So as you can see, we actually went ahead and removed both side fenders as well as removed everything that was right here, cutting the sway bar at the bottom and revealing that the crankshaft pulley was broken and destroyed. So this motor could possibly be rebuilt, but I'm not gonna spend time on this. I may just keep the motor on the side and get it rebuilt and get it done right. But for our plan today, well actually our plan for the entire vehicle is gonna go ahead and be to use everything in the yellow Mustang and actually move it over to the black one, doing a complete conversion to it because this one's an automatic and that one's a manual. So I do want the manual and I do want the black one. So we're gonna go ahead and make the black one work out. Can't even see you. <laughs> we have Estrella in the car right now, cutting up the airbags that are just deployed right there. We have this airbag deployed on here, the curtain airbag, as well as the seat airbag over here, dash airbag, and then under the uh, steering wheel airbag, as well as the steering wheel airbag. So a couple airbags blown in this one, but luckily they're not really blown on that one. So a plus, basically it kind of like, the airbags are deployed over here, didn't deploy over there, but the airbags are deployed over here, didn't deploy over here. So it's like a really mixed mixture, I guess. So lucky for us. Oh, it's in there. This one became a huge problem. It was the first one and it was ridiculous. I ended up using a cheater bar to help me out. So this one, I don't know why it was so stuck, but we finally got it loose. So let's go ahead and get this out. All right guys, so in order to go ahead and try to get that seat to move, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this out. I'm gonna go ahead and actually remove the battery charger that's actually charging the battery. And put the ground to an actual ground on the vehicle. And as you guys can hear, it actually gives it a little bit of power to the car for accessories. All right guys, so I don't know if you can tell, it's actually moving up really, really slowly, but it's moving up, so should give me enough room to actually try to get back there and pop those uh, two bolts back there. That is more than enough room back here. And what do we have here? Oh! <laughs> Good job. What, this is a model, all right? I think so, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Alright, so 
this one came out nice and easy. Let's hope this one does. Well. Alright guys, so we were having the same issue we were having in the front, but what I went ahead and actually did, uh, I used the cheetah bar again, but I had to use the extension here to actually get down here because I'm going to go ahead and show you guys real quick. There was no way in hell there's going to be enough room to actually try to use the cheetah bar down here. So I used the extension and it worked out perfectly. So let's go ahead and remove this last one and get the seat out. All right guys, so same issue. We had to use the breaker bar, but luckily there's again, there's enough room in the front to do it, but in the back there isn't. So we're gonna go ahead and just use the same method we used for this one, but we haven't, we already went ahead and loosened it up. So let's go ahead and just get them out of here. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and actually take a break. I'm gonna go ahead and get some food. We have one of the bolts that's stuck. This is the last bolt that we need to get out. Um, it's actually completely, it's like completely bare in there now. It's like a whole circle. So it's actually impossible to get out at this point. So we're gonna go ahead and just get one of the cutters and go ahead and just cut the head off and then come back with the vice grips and take off the stub once we get the actual chair out or the seat out. So that sucks, but it is what it is. I'm gonna actually end up having to destroy this rear end piece right here. It's not needed, the seat's not needed. It's just extra at this point for me, but we'll go ahead and uh, do our best here. So she's actually hungry. So we're gonna go ahead and actually go get some grub, like I said. So we'll get back to this project after we take a short break and probably gonna end up cleaning this up too, just cause I hate seeing it filthy like this. And we have some cats, as you guys can go ahead and see the little prints everywhere. So those little bastards are getting all over the cars. But they're cute. I actually saw one of them. It's actually a little baby. So I'm going to go ahead and give them some love right now. Motor down here that actually runs the electrical piecing right here. So we're going to go ahead and release that so that way we can pull the seat out. All the screws are done on this one. And we still have to do the other one. I brought the air compressor, but we're letting it get some air in there before we even try cutting anything. So let's hope for the best on that. So again, right now there's a zip tie. So I'm going to go ahead and try to cut it and release the seat right here. There you go. Got some money. Look at that money. We're rich. Looks like this car paid for itself. 25 cents. 26 cents. 26 cents. 26. I swear to God, if there's gum in those wrappers, bro. Yeah, there's gum in these wrappers. Gross. That's gross. That's why you wear gloves. All right, guys. So we're still waiting for the air compressor to actually fill up. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and start removing the back seats. And we're probably going to end up putting in a rear seat delete kit afterwards so might as well just start doing taking apart everything that we need to take apart right now and that's involving the seat belts and seat belt latches seat belt mechanisms and basically all the bolts connected down here underneath the seat so first things first can go ahead and pop the back seat up i'm the one you ride i'm the one you ride to if you don't want all right get this dirty dirty seat out of here Nasty. We don't have a vacuum here, so we're gonna go ahead and vacuum it at a later date. Hopefully nothing gets too dirty in here, but should be fine for the meantime. Yeah, these were actually pretty good. Not stained, nothing. They actually look pretty good overall. Compared to the bottom pieces, they look terrible. There we go. And you said you were too weak. All 
All right, guys. So right now we just took out the back seats, as you guys saw. Unfortunately, the air compressor is kind of malfunctioning right now. It's not performing to where it needs to perform. So we're not going to be able to try to cut this uh, uh this passenger side seat out right now. So right now, the last piece we're going to go ahead and pull out for today is going to go ahead and be the center console. So let's go ahead and pull this out and uh, hope for the best, I guess. Uh, we we're taking an L today for sure. So we're actually going to go ahead and have her do it just because she's smaller. And uh, man, you look so like you have so much room in there right now. I get banging my head in here. So it's nice to have her nice and tiny. Plus there's seven millimeters, so small for her. I can help you out. 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 All right, so we go ahead and remove that plastic piece again, and then again, it leaves us with those two bolts. And she's gonna go ahead and do that for us as well because she's small, and I am way too big to try to be doing all this. Time is up, and I'm calling up my friends. Ain't no wonder why, ain't no wonder right to Here we go, here we go again Call me up and you wanna be my friend I'm the one you ride Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and just use this uh, scraping tool right now um, I did order a actual interior kit to remove the interior pieces without damaging them on the yellow one It should be coming in tomorrow, but for now, use what I have Just went ahead and popped these uh, blue sticks over here and now we actually went ahead and just popped it all around as well as got those two bolts as you saw and today I helped that out definitely helped out really appreciate that and now we just gotta go ahead and disconnect these uh, lights down here All right guys, so as you guys can probably tell, I'm pretty much done already. We went ahead and took out this bottom piece out, or the top piece out. This bottom piece requires a little bit more work that we're not gonna get into today, but we definitely will get into it when we need to get into it, as well as we have the passenger seat that we were not able to take out because of that one bolt in the back, which we will be getting back to eventually when we actually have the uh, right capability to pull that out. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. Appreciate all you guys for watching. I had a great time. Estrella definitely helped out today. She was able to get into these smaller areas where I couldn't fit. I'm about a 6162 and it's very difficult to fit into these areas. So without further ado, again, appreciate all the love. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna go ahead and probably get this car cleaned up and that'll be a separate video. I'm gonna do the entire car with the water the wash. Can't wait to see how that looks and see hopefully if the paint is still any good underneath all this layers of dirt. So without further ado, see you guys in the next one. Peace out guys.